Coming into the Japanese Grand Prix, there was rumours that Lewis Hamilton was going to announce his retirement, but he's batted away those rumours, suggesting he still has an 8th title to win. Hello and welcome to my F1 23 My Team Career Mode. I'm for Lamborghini, here today for the Japanese Grand Prix and part 28 of the Career Mode. We come into Japan having this time last season picked up our first ever podium. As we come into the qualifying now, out of the final chicane, personal best sector one, purple in the middle sector, and it's going to give us provisional pole position for the Grand Prix. And as we come towards the end of qualifying, we go even quicker. No purple sectors this time, though, only personal best, but it will be enough to give us pole position. Let's go to the race. We come to you today live from the Mai Prefecture in the south of Japan's Honshu Island for a race that has seen so many title deciders through the years, some simple, some controversial, but all contributing to a legacy that makes the Japanese Grand Prix an indispensable stop in any Formula One season. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. Brown lines up on pole position, and Oscar Piastri completes the front row. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Fernando Alonso, Leclerc, Russell, Hamilton, Norris, Stroll, Bottas, Gasly, Verstappen, De Vries, Ocon, Perez, Magnussen, Joe, Albert, Fittipaldi, Sainz, Liam Lawson and Logan Sargent. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today? Anthony Davidson joins me again for the race today. Joined once again by Anthony Davidson for this one. Ant, there's a lot of incidents on track recently for this driver. No one does that on purpose. It is part and parcel of racing. Though. It's not an ideal situation by any means. When you get into a bad run like that, there's always a risk of frustration creeping in which can cause more mistakes and locks you into this vicious cycle. Hopefully today they can get through turn one cleanly and stay calm for the rest of the race. So we're here on the grid then for the Japanese Grand Prix. Usual one stop, starting on the softs, going to the mediums. Sunny day, I had no chance of rain, but we just need to talk about Aaron Barnes a second. 16th on the grid, I think that's the highest it's qualified that high. He must have a nosebleed. But anyway, after the shambles of Monza, we need a good result here. And we're racing here in Japan, and it's not the best of starts from us, but we've got a lot of wheel spin, but we are away. And we're ahead of Piastri, heading down into the first corner. Run a little bit wide coming out of turn two, but it isn't enough for Piastri to have a go as we sneak our way through the first sector here in Suzuka we keep ahead we just need to try and build a gap but build a gap we could not do because Piastri is trying to overtake us now going on to lap 3 we really didn't have the pace Piastri keeps his noses up the inside round the outside we keep our foot pinned and we stayed ahead through the Dunlop curve I think that is now heading down into Tecno 1 we run wider off the track Piastri shoots his way through as we have no grip and now like, I know if Piastri gets us, he is gone. So we're going to send a lane up the inside, but we put more wheels on the grass. And Fernando Alonso sees a chance to take the lead of the Grand Prix. We've got the better exit though. We're side by side as we go through the curve and up towards Spoon. And Alonso backs out of it, he's not. He's not feeling side by side through Spoon. So we keep the lead for now, but Alonso is passed. Piastri, Piastri's dropped back a little bit, so he may have damage after we basically drove into the side of him. But here comes Alonso into turn while he backs out. He's not feeling a move to the inside like Piastri was one lap ago. Piastri though must have damage because here comes Charles Leclerc into 130R and it's a lovely move on Piastri. Now though, lap 5. We're soaking up all the pressure from Fernando Alonso, but that's why I'm going to call the Kobayashi hairpin. We've locked up, we've got straight on, and Alonso is through. But this time we're not quite 
far enough alongside than we was on a couple of laps ago and Alonso takes the lead of the Japanese Grand Prix and then Alonso disappeared because we had no pace this is Charles Leclerc now coming at us and behind Leclerc is our championship rival George Russell Leclerc tries to get the job done at the inside we're gonna hold it keep it pinned though we go off the track and now George has seen a chance to get past us but we're not having that we cut him back and keep it pinned round the outside of the S section a great move if I do say so myself Leclerc now has bolted here comes George coming back at us it's vital we don't let him through and that's exactly what we're gonna do round the outside we stay ahead of George just for now our departure stuff this time we're on the inside and we get the job done we stay ahead of George on to lap 11 now and here comes George Russell on the outside he's tried the inside he's tried the outside and both of them aren't working for him and with Alonso and Leclerc gone there's a bit of a train forming behind us now let's call it the Lamborghini train at 4 now hopefully these tyres will start to come back to us but now as we come up heading up towards 130R George has got a great run we're going to come off to close him off and there's contact We've put ourselves into the wall. We've also sliced out of Hamilton out of the Grand Prix. We're out of the Grand Prix. George is surely out of the Grand Prix. But the Japanese Grand Prix ends for us in dramatic circumstances. Another action packed Japanese Grand Prix comes to an end then. And a magnificent drive to take the win today. Tell me, Anne, how do you think they were able to deliver such an incredible result today? I really feel the track layout, combined with the track temperatures we saw today, suited their car. These cars come alive when the tyres are just at the right temperature, and the driver did a great job managing that as well. They just look so comfortable out there. It's like anything, it always looks so easy when it all just clicks. You can see them on their way out to the podium now. Aston Martin really are making waves in this sport. And what a special race this was to see them earn the top spot. Fernando Alonso wins the Japanese Grand Prix. He said back in pre-season that this Aston Martin had wins in it. It looked like in the early stages that was going to be a push, but Fernando Alonso does not lie, and that is exactly what he's done. But can we talk about George Russell? How has he finished that race? P2 after this. I'm sure you don't know what happened because it was cut together also quickly. So we had a bad exit. George got the run. We then tried to close him off but George with closed the speed was too much. We then catapulted across the track after George clipping our rear tyre and then over the track there we go into the side of Lewis Hamilton wiping ourselves out. Hamilton an innocent victim here which just mind his own business and then had a Lamborghini in to the side of him. So four DNFs, both McLaren's DNFing, I don't know whether they were caused up in the incident as well, but me and Lewis both out. It's my fault, I was trying to cover off George stopping getting at the inside and misjudged it and have created an absolutely massive crash. And ultimately, with only four races to go in Qatar, Mexico, Brazil and Vegas, that could well be a title defining moment. But we'll see by the time we get to Vegas where it is or not in terms of the championship and George takes the lead of the championship by 12 points the first time he's led the championship since Silverstone that's how strong we've been the last couple of races with two non-scores in a row now and two big results for George as well two podiums after we've not scored 
and also Mercedes flying away in the constructors as well but we're not focusing on that anymore because since Sonoda left that's been pretty much nailed on as Mercedes but I hope you enjoyed this video very dramatic into the Grand Prix we go to Qatar next where we need a good result after two non-scores and hopefully finish the race goodbye